just mentioned it. Hey everyone, welcome to Mindset Live. I'm Renee. And I am John. Welcome to Mindset Live. It is so great to be back on this cold Monday night in New York. We are uh, fresh off the plane from Florida. It was really, oh man, it was so nice down there. Yes, I we were this in Palm glow, Beach. This beautiful sunny glow. Uh, yeah, we were in West uh, in Palm Beach at the Colony Hotel. If you haven't been there, I hadn't been there. It was just like it was unbelievable. It was like a postage stamp, and uh, we were there with Isaac Boots and the gang, and it was just unbelievable. Um, you know, if you don't know Isaac or you don't follow him, definitely go follow him because. This guy is just the real deal of so much energy and love and just, it's just, each class, you just don't know what's going to happen. It's so much happening. Just the people, everyone's excited and open and loving mindset. And it was just uh, amazing. And then of course we, we, we stopped in Boca to see uh, some of our uh, closest friends, uh, Jamie and the gang. And it was uh, unbelievable uh, to see everybody. And thank you so much for having us down there. We cannot wait to come back to uh, to Boca and to Florida very, very soon. Okay, and tonight we have an awesome, awesome, so something actually we've never done before. We're having three guests on tonight. Yes, and that is gonna be very exciting. We are uh, technically challenged to some extent. I think we're gonna <laughs> hit the right buttons. So we're gonna try to bring on three people. Now, uh, just to give you guys a little uh, understanding of what's going on tonight, these three people individually uh, would be incredible guests. I mean, each one is more accomplished. They're unbelievable people. And what they did was they formed together almost like the Avengers of wellness, right? Like they pooled all their powers together. Um, and it's a amazing thing. It's called Eat, Sleep, Organize. Uh, and the concept is, is that all of these things, how you eat, how you sleep, and how you live your life through organization are all interconnected. And when you are aligned and those things are working correctly, uh, and we'll have our guests tell us, uh, you're gonna find that your wellness and your happiness is going to increase exponentially. Um, and so, uh, who is uh, Eat, Sleep, Organize, Renee? So we have Barbara Reich, we have Whitney Robin, and if I'm saying, I think I'm saying everyone's names right, and um, we have Lara Metz, and I think that they're requesting to join, so let me see, I've got this. Okay, yeah, look, I'm gonna do this. All Let's right, see. and okay. then we have to bring everyone else in individually? That's I don't know, exciting. I think, accept. Accepted that, that's an acceptance, okay. and that goes in. Oh, hi, hi, Barbara. Barbara, Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Great. So, you too. So good. So, Boca too. Oh, you were? We should have connected. Yeah. I know, I know. I'll tell you, things are wacky down there, man. I was in Meisner Park at this Kapow Noodle. Yeah. It's like being at Epcot Center. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, people, it's very man, dense. The people. Max's Grill, it was mania. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to do the others. Yeah, so we're, we'll just give us a second. We're trying to okay, I think bring in, you know, that's Larry Oh, oh, look. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's, we got, <laughs> that's Whitney. Okay. I'm not that's right Whitney. Direction. That's Whitney. Oh, how do I turn myself oh, we did it. We did it. Okay, we you did it. Out. Okay. You gotta just yeah, like put it down. But hey, yeah. you know, I'm the wrong through. way. Let me turn myself around. Is that and now you're upside down. Yeah. And now you're upside down. <laughs> yes. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, just keep, keep rotating. <laughs> more. Close. Close. Okay. Up to my side. Did you turn the phone vertically, Whitney? <laughs> Yeah, you have to, yeah. There you are. There, there you, are. you yeah. go. Now it's the Brady Bunch. Right. Yes. This does feel like the Brady Bunch. Yeah. It's a story. Totally. <laughs> anyway, um, thank like you guys so reference. much yes. for taking the time uh, to come on. I mean, as I was saying, each one of you is unto yourself. When I was reading uh, the resumes, I was just like astounded. We've never had guests of your caliber. You guys are unbelievable. Uh, just let me just go through a little bit, and then you guys can introduce yourselves a little bit. Uh, so we have Lara Metz of Lara Metz Nutrition, uh, veteran dietitian, food lover, improving health and wellness of others, RDN, CDN certifications, New York University, Dietetic Association, on and on and on. And then Barbara, you have Life Organized, and uh, this incredible book. Oh my oh. God! I mean, this is unbelievable. Everyone should Barbara fight. I mean, like I'm like I'm ready to be Barbara fight. I can't take it. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> and, you know, again, your resume is unbelievable. University of Pennsylvania, Stern School, uh, on the Today Show, Good Morning America, Inside Edition, PIX, New York One, in the Times, Wall Street Journal, New York Post, Washington Post, Time Magazine. I mean, it's craziness. And then Whitney, I mean, as if this wasn't enough, you're a world-renowned family educational and corporate sleep specialist and the founder of Solve Our Sleep. And this is when things get interesting. So you have a book called Devin and Evan, Sleep from 8 to 7, and then Devin and Evan play Fortnite till 11. Now, that is unbelievable. When I was, you know, mentioning that to my son, he said, oh, this is so cool. You have a guest who's going to be talking about Fortnite. And I said, <laughs> yeah. well, not you. Um, a little different. Uh, so as I say, this is unbelievable. Explain to us what it is. What is your mission? Why did you guys get together? Why did you pull your resources? What are you doing? So I think when you first, before we all got on, you were saying how we were like the Avengers of wellness because we all took our unique area of expertise and came together as one because wellness is a real thing. And we were each seeing in our individual practices, the interrelationship between eating well, sleeping well, and being organized and how when those things are aligned, how your, your mental and physical health really, really um, goes through the roof. So we want to help people. I love that. That's and that incredible. you all have this incredible mindset. It all goes back to mindset that you came together with three incredible mindsets to do this. Yeah, we all right. take a holistic approach and we've all come together. Barbara and I worked together years ago. So just like a quick background of how we yeah, met. Please, please. Barbara was my organizer. <laughs> and I yeah. never thought I would need an organizer, but she created systems in my life and completely changed my life in that way. You know, it sounds so simple and silly, but I, I needed it. And then fast forward, Barbara was like, she was struggling. And I was like, Barbara, you're so organized in every aspect of your life, except for your food, because she'd show up at my house and all of her other clients' homes. And she was never organized with her food. Sorry, Barb, for you know, oh, no, sharing I, your, your secret. No, go and, ahead. I'm gonna open and, book. Um, that's sort of how we met each other. And Barbara and Whitney had their own relationship. And it just oh. made sense. Even today, I had a client who, oh. after speak, you know, chatting with her, she was an old client that I had probably seven or eight years ago. COVID has not been great for her. And she made a comment how she's basically sleeping on her couch. And wow. I said, why? She said, well, I moved and I have boxes in my room. So because she hasn't organized her sleeping space, her mm. sleep is interrupted. She's not sleeping well. She doesn't have mm. an oasis. Her bedroom should be her oasis. And she's sleeping on her couch, closer to the kitchen, waking up in the middle of the night and eating. So you see how it just, the system is broken. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Or even in your, in your bedroom, if you have a desk in your bedroom and it's messy, that's not conducive to a good night of sleep. And eating well and sleeping well are all about routine and organization. So when Lara said to me in that one, in that one moment, she said, you're organized about every single thing except for how you eat. And she taught me that you have to plan ahead. So you have to be organized enough to have the correct foods in your house. It's not enough just to buy carrots and celery and hummus. They have to be cut up. You have to mm -hmm. have your healthy food at eye level. So it's the first thing you see when you open the refrigerator. It's all about the placement. And similarly with sleep, Whitney talks all about sleep routines and having a bedtime as an adult and doing certain things in a certain order every night so that you're ready to go to sleep. And if you, if you are organized, you can do those things. Or like even Michael Phelps in the Olympics, when he went to swim in a meet, that was the only thing that wasn't planned. Like every single aspect of his morning was predetermined and pre-planned. And that's how he was able to just go through these things by rote and do his best job swimming. So, so that brings up you, a really, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, please finish. Go, no, go, 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 go. But, oh, no, no, I was saying that brings up a really great point, you know, how we try our best to map out or control uh, our environments, right, so that we feel like we have some control over them. Um, but yet, as we all know, what's been going on over the last couple of years, many of us feel very out of control. We feel as if we don't have the control around us. Uh, and of course, I think I'd be remiss not to mention the historic moment that we're in right now. I mean, with a, with a, a war going on in, in Europe as we speak, uh, the existential threat of what that means. I mean, my kids don't remember 
the after school specials, you know, the day after, they don't remember what that was like, thinking about all those existential threats. And now they're sort of having to sort of face a little bit of what that means. And not to go too down the rabbit hole, but, you know, how do you help people in this incredibly uncertain time where their environments are changing so rapidly? So it's interesting. The reason our, we came up with Eat Sleep Organize is an idea before the pandemic, but we got so busy with our entity during the pandemic just for that reason, because life was out of control. Now, I'm a sleep specialist, but my training is as a clinical and school psychologist. And what I know is that the number one cause of sleep problem is anxiety. So people's <laughs> sleep was horrible during, I mean, it was not so great before, but horrible during the pandemic. And what creates also a lot of anxiety in your life? When you're disorganized, when you come home and your, your life is not organized, that creates anxiety. And what happens when you're anxious? You eat poorly, or if you're eating poorly, it's gonna make you anxious. So that's really kind of the underpinning of all of this is mental health, which has struggled so mm -hmm. much. And, and that's, it's so interesting how all of our different expertise really fit together and how we made such a push for Eat Sleep Organized during the pandemic was because people had no control. And these are our three respective disciplines are things you can control. When there's a, you know, a war in the world and you're mm -hmm. watching TV all the time or a pandemic, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. learn to eat healthy, sleep well and stay organized. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think it's a great wellness entity that we are right now um, to help people right. through this time. I and it's important that. that people, you know, may want to turn to the cookies because they think, okay, well, I'm, I'm watching what's going on in the Ukraine and I feel like I want to just, you know, go to that box of cookies because they think that it may make them feel better. But they soon realize if you actually are mindful in your eating and mindful mm -hmm. in your practice, you realize actually you don't feel better. It, like Whitney said, it may make you more anxious. You likely will not sleep well. So when you start mm -hmm. to nourish your body, I know this sounds like a little hokey and corny, but like nourish your body, nourish your soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, no, that's like, our entire ethos. That that's the entire is, concept. I said to John, I think it was, I just said it to him yesterday. I said, you know, we were away, so I wasn't eating, you know, I was eating amazingly, but not amazingly. <laughs> right. I, I said, you know, he's like, it's okay. I'm like, you know what? I just want high vibrational food. I want to eat healthy, high vibrational food so I can feel good. And that's the reason. It's, it makes me feel better when I'm eating all the good, yummy, delicious fruits and vegetables and just things from the earth, you know? Yeah, right, because you're, nur you're I, nourishing I, your body. I mean, Exactly. Truly. I nourished myself with truffle fries. It was, <laughs> they, well, it was different, way, but I was looking for that comfort. Also, <laughs> totally, but then it's okay to get back on track. So I think like right. what we all agree on is that we're not robots. Right. We don't have to be perfect all the time. It's mm -hmm. about finding balance. So whether you're finding, finding balance with your diet, balance with your sleep, balance with your, you know, your, mm. your environment. So we don't have to be perfect. And I think if we strive for perfection, that's where we end up failing and we feel badly about ourselves. So 100%. I think for all of us, you know, baby steps. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah. CBD does, by the way. CBD, what it does, mm. it, it balances your endocannabinoid system. So it balances, it brings you into homeostasis. And that's... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's where I think it's it aligns so perfectly. Uh, Kyle Axman's on, he's saying food is medicine. Hey, Kyle, you're 100% right. Um, I think that, you know, again, why this makes sense, uh, especially for the mindset community, is because everything we're trying to do is to provide some kind of a, a tool that you can put in your tool belt, right? Um, and each of these different things, whether it's sleep or nutrition or organization or uh, hemp through uh, CBD balance or meditation or affirmation, all of these things are all available to us um, and become tools. Now, unto themselves, they're not nearly as powerful. But what you get is uh, like just you like in the CBD world, when you combine certain cannabinoids with terpenes, you get what's called the entourage effect. And so you get this increased wellness benefit. It's almost the same thing. It's when you combine the eat, the sleep, the organization, you get this entourage effect and you get this mm -hmm. increased wellness benefit when you combine it all together. And that's really mm -hmm. exciting because you're approaching it from multiple disciplines and you're really looking at someone's total wellness, which is very, very exciting. Explain to me if I'm a client, how does it work? What would, what would normally this look like? How would I go about talking to you guys? Because it could sound so, overwhelming, like just like talking right. about getting organized, it's, 
eating right and sleeping right, it could seem really overwhelming and cause me anxiety. <laughs> well, I think, I think the first thing that happens is that people are spending a lot more time at home. So really the organization of the home turns out to be um, really critical for sleeping and, and eating. Um, but we can go in individually over a series of days and then we all work together um, separately and then come together. Or, I mean, you want the Avenger effect? We can all go in like, you know, like a sitcom or a reality TV show right. and, you know, do the interview and really attack the house all at once and get it done all at once. And we've worked both ways. I need that. I need that. Yeah. I need, I need the Avenger effect. No, that's great. That's great. For First of all, people, we should be calling Bravo. This is a yeah, perfect this is show. Yeah, amazing. Okay, we need to get right. Put someone in a room and then the three of you go and eat, sleep, and right. construct them. And we'll provide the CBD right. and everyone will have less anxiety. Right. Right. The camera crew is right. Win, win, win. Really, yeah. really in one week, I mean, you can't change the world in one week, but you, you can make significant strides if you do it as, you know, an all at once thing where you're going to really do a makeover of a wellness makeover. Yes. And, um, and if you that. do it in that way, you'll have results sooner because it, it really gives you a kickstart, like a real kickstart. That's but very, for those people, but, but for some people that may seem overwhelming. So mm -hmm. if you don't want to do, you know, a complete transformation at once, tackle it in baby steps, you know, right. For my, for my area, for example, let's just pretend you don't eat breakfast and then you forget to eat all day. Let's start tackling breakfast. For Whitney, it may right. be, you know, a, a new, routine. also evening routine. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I have tea as my, like my evening ritual. We mm -hmm. talk about this a lot, the three of us. And I know I talk about it with my clients. Yeah. What's your evening ritual? As soon as I'm done with dinner, I start with my herbal tea. It's just how I relax. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Whitney might talk about that. And Barbara might say, well, how can you sleep? Because look at your bedside table. You know, let's, right. let's tackle your bedside like start table. With, right, or let's start with one area of your house. You know, the, the thing I really encourage, though, with organization is, you know, the magazines always want you know, a quote about, you know, organizing in 20 minutes or less, organizing in five minutes or less. And the truth is, if you don't dedicate two hours to a project, it's not going to last. You know, your junk drawer is going to be a junk drawer again two days later. So you have to put a, put a little bit of a stake in the ground with organizing in order for the results to be lasting. Yeah, that's I just, yeah. Uh, I'll clean something up and then like, you know, a, maybe not two days, but like you just, I'm not, I don't keep up with it, I guess. Right. Well, well that's something cool. that, that I start when I talk about sleep and that's really making it a priority. And I'm sure Barbara and Laura talk about mm -hmm. making their respective fields a priority. But when I talk to people about sleep and when we do our corporate workshops, mm -hmm. because we do a lot of wellness workshops together for Eat Sleep Organize, mm -hmm. I don't start with the house. I start with the whys yes. because I'm going to tell you to make a lot of changes in your life. And the good news is they're very small changes. They're easy mm -hmm. changes. And mm -hmm. cumulatively together, they will make significant changes to your sleep. However, why would you do that if you're not respecting the importance of sleep? If I do my job right, you will then believe that sleep is the single most important behavior mm -hmm. you engage in on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Once you believe that, very easy to do the things I'm going to ask you to do after, which mm -hmm. is not eating right before bed and maybe cutting out alcohol before bed and mm -hmm. getting the lights, you know, all the excess lights off in mm -hmm. your room to sleep. And all those I'm with things. you. <laughs> but yeah. you have to make it a priority. So the same thing with keeping your stuff organized, right? You might start and mm -hmm. then you stop. But if you understand how important it is to live an organized mm -hmm. life or how mm -hmm. important it is to eat nutritious, then you, it's easy to do to make those changes. So that's they've really done, how we started. They've done studies of the brain where they've looked at the prefrontal cortex of the brain and how clutter impacts that. And having clutter surrounding you impacts your creativity, decreases it by 30%, your productivity by 30%. It's, it's actually been quantified. They've looked at, the, the, um, at your saliva and, and they look at the saliva of women when they're around clutter and how the stress hormones increase dramatically just in the presence of clutter. So having the space that you live in and for some people live and work in to be an oasis is more important now than ever before. It's, it's as we said at the beginning, you know, there's so much in our lives we cannot control that what you put in your mouth 
you know, how many hours you sleep and how you treat your physical surroundings are things you can control. Yeah, it's things you can choose to yeah. control. You can choose, you have the choice. Right, you can, you choose it, but you have to make it your priority to, you know, be well physically and be well mentally. And since, yeah. you know, now they're, we're hopefully, fingers crossed, coming right. out of the pandemic, we have to focus on the mental health epidemic that is happening to 100%. us and yeah. to our kids. So uh, also, again, going back to the anxiety and, you know, you're talking, you know, with mm -hmm. your company, with Mindset Wellness, the CBD, you're all about creating healthy minds. So mm -hmm. we're all on the same page about that. Yes. Physical health is so important, but mental health, I believe as a clinical psychologist, well, it's, is also as important. Right. It's all connected. It's one. All connected. It's, yes. I, I don't even mm -hmm. see it as, as separate. It's one. Correct. Because mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. causes physical illness, stress. Mm -hmm. Where does stress mm -hmm. come from? Anxiety. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So Right. And then what do you end up eating when you're stressed? Well, how right. And then you don't have <laughs> right. your right. food choice right. and you don't sleep. Right. It's a vicious right. cycle. So yeah. it when, is. when you're when you're under that much stress and you're feeling that much anxiety, obviously you don't feel great. And so you're you're not really prioritizing yourself or your, your mm -hmm. wellness. It seems very everything seems very hard. Uh, as you may know. Uh, when I, I started Mindset Wellness because of the chronic anxiety that I suffered with my whole life. And, and uh, you know, everything that I did, uh, as much as I, I, I hate to admit it, was colored through a certain lens. Uh, and that lens was a certain painful lens. And when you are able to uh, change that, choose your mindset, change and make the intention like you guys and choose to eat better, choose to sleep better, choose to, to organize your life, uh, then that cascading effect goes the other direction. And suddenly all the dominoes start to fall the right way and you find that this, it becomes a snowball and things start to really uh, increase in a way that is palatable and that pain begins to disappear and you find yourself in a much better way. And the same things that you saw in one way, you see completely differently. And that's all from just the most basic stuff like eating, sleeping, and organizing. Yeah, true. Yeah. true. And Barbara, to the organizing thing, and it, it's so true, like just, you know, a little example. If I am in my kitchen and I'm about to cook, but someone's just been in there and it's like cluttered and messy, I cannot cook. I have to clean everything up first mm -hmm. before I begin to start. Right. I get so much anxiety yeah. if everything is out of control and all over the place. Okay, so I have a there quick was question. Never... Oh, go ahead. I just came back from um, Wisconsin uh, Dad's uh, Sammy weekend, and I never saw clutter like this in my life. It was clutter <laughs> at another level that I, I don't know. So how, how, where would you start there? How would you start with a frat house um, to get those kids in line? It was something that I couldn't imagine seeing. It was really special. <laughs> I have to say, in all my years, I've never organized a fat house. <laughs> garbage bag. I think, I think that's the harder. first job for the wellness right. Avengers. Right. Let's I yeah, I think so. Let's get a tackle that. We got to hook you guys up. Organized. Wow. I would what get the doing? pledge class on board, and I would oh, yeah. work the pledges. Um, <laughs> right. But but the truth is, it's really about um, cleaning the surfaces. Like, start with cleaning the surfaces. And you'd be amazed at what a difference that makes when there's nothing on the counters. Yes. So, that's so true. You know, and, and then sometimes like a little trick that I give people is when there's an area in their house that people tend to put things, I say, put a tray there, put a candle on the tray, put a photo on the tray, maybe a little vase with flowers in that. No one will clutter that area again because you've now given it another purpose other than a place for clutter to collect. And the other thing that I think when... When you're organizing, you know, there's sort of the whole like creating an infrastructure for organization, having the right bins, labeling them. But if you don't also address the process by which things get into those places, your organization <laughs> efforts will fail. You really need both because how, where does the mail go when it comes in your house and how does the mail get opened and does it get filed? Are you getting things electronically? What does your digital space look like? You know, all of those things really have to be taken into account. I need your help so badly. I was about to say, I, I don't think that's a problem. Oh. I need right. a Barbara refresh as well. <laughs> um, all right. Oh so, my God. so let me ask you very quickly, just you guys are at the top of your field, each one of you. Who inspires you? In no particular order, you just answer. Who is inspiring you right now to, to like, you're inspiring so many. You know, I just spent um, a couple of days with my mother, who's 83, and 
she has so much energy. She, you know, was on the finance board of her condo. She organizes happy hour for the condo. She's, she's like the mayor. And yeah. she goes about her life with, um, you know, she's just so active. And she is also a perfect example of somebody who is organized, who has always slept well and has always eaten well. And I think that that really, especially as you get older, that really sets the stage for being able to enjoy your later years. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's I'm inspired by Barbara's mother. That's what I love about too. I have to say. Yeah. That was really beautiful, Barb. That was oh, well, thank you. Thank cool. you. I, right now, I'm inspired by my son, who's um, 17. He's a basketball player. Um, and oh, pretty amazing. much, you know, all, all um, athletes that went through COVID and had so much, you know, everybody went through COVID and had so much taken away. Um, and they had to get back in shape for their sports and, and really work really hard and get back on the court and try to, you know, and so much of, um, I work with a lot of athletes, so much of that rest and recovery has to do with sleep. And my son in particular, you know, through no choice of his own, was raised by a sleep specialist. So I just <laughs> drilled healthy sleep into his head since he was little. And now he's um, off living at a prep school to play basketball. And wow. every day I'm always asking him, how are you sleeping? How are you sleeping? And he just respects sleep and knows, you know, he had an injury. Recovery is all about sleep. How you do on the court is all about yeah. sleep. So um, that whole generation really inspires me. They've been through so yeah. much. Yeah, I agree. I That's love amazing. That. That's beautiful. Yeah. I, it really is. Yeah. And I get it. Our son is an athlete too. And mm -hmm. they did. They went through. We all did. We all went through yeah. something. Well, but... I wasn't invited to any schools, but these are good athletes. <laughs> 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 my, ki my kids are inspiring me also. I think they're watching. Hi, girls, if you're here. Right. <laughs> That's okay. right. If if you're not, if watching. My daughter's actually just came from the city. She's sitting on the couch next to me. Uh, and she's very annoyed. That and we're she's still very doing organized, this. so I'm very proud of yes, her. Yes, we're so proud of you, Caitlin. <laughs> I was going to ask you who inspires you, but since your daughter's there now, I guess you have to say your daughter. Right? No, it's definitely not my daughter. But <laughs> I love her. She, no, no, I, I just, it just wouldn't be. No, no, you, just I love you, but it, that's from an inspirational right. standpoint. I don't, no, you inspire me. No, you're you my inspire me. No, I'm just you, you inspire me. <laughs> I, I'm inspired by you as well, sweetheart. I love you very much. No, you, you do. You really do. Uh, <laughs> No. Um, so anyway, uh, if people want your services, if people well, wait, want I have a question. Oh, um, no. <laughs> no, so for sleep, what mm -hmm. advice would you give? Like, what are a few things that you would say? I know, like, that I, before bed, I have a gratitude journal that I do every night mm -hmm. before bed. Um, and I... I don't know, I meditate a little before bed. I, and when I wake up, I also meditate. So I, I like do it at That's night. Right. And in the morning, I have a gratitude journal in the morning as well. So there's like a nighttime routine and a morning routine. That's amazing. And that is it's a five definitely... minute, it's like a five, it's called the five, it's literally called the five minute journal. Mm -hmm. And they prompt you with like three questions in the morning, three questions at night. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. During um, during the pandemic, that was always my number one piece of advice is to journal and get out all of your thoughts, your anxieties, and what you're grateful for. So important. Um, when you put that on paper, that's so much less likely, all the negative thoughts are less likely to intrude. Because like I said, the number one cause of sleep problems is anxiety. So you want to get all those thoughts out. Um, but the two most important things are routines. And we talked about that already. But mm -hmm. every night you should do something relaxing, mm -hmm. brief, um, outside, you know, not in your bed because you want your bed to just be for sleep. Um, so reading a book, doing some yoga mm -hmm. stretching, journaling is great. Taking a hot shower an hour or two before bed is also really helpful. It lowers your body temperature so your melatonin production can go up. And then when you get into bed, just practice some deep breathing, meditation. I teach that to all my clients and be able to fall asleep a lot easier. Um, and the other thing that's also really important besides routines is schedules, which a lot of people don't realize. Mm -hmm. You should try to go to sleep and wake up about the same time every day. Yeah. That would be tough to teach the fraternity now that I'm thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so interesting because um, like I, I do, I believe that. Like I, I definitely like a routine and I like to go to bed around the same time and <clears throat> have to wake up at the same time every yes, day. Yes, it's really, yeah. it's important um, for our circadian rhythm, our sleep-wake cycle. Mm -hmm. And so you don't want to sleep in on the weekends. 
And that's what a lot of teens and college kids do to try to catch up on right. sleep. It's kind mm -hmm. of a fallacy. And when you wake up on Monday, you'll feel something called social jet lag, where you're feeling like you try to travel through time zones and you'll feel worse for the start of your week, your work week or your school week on a Monday. So mm -hmm. routines, consistent routines and a consistent schedule are probably my top two pieces of advice. So our best selling product, our best selling CBD is our rest mindset. So that mm -hmm. our drops or our gummies, whichever people prefer to take, that's our number one because people are having so much trouble sleeping and our rest products do have melatonin in them. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the things in them. They also have vitamin B12 and caraflene, which helps with your mm -hmm. circadian rhythms. So that's a, a big thing for us. Yeah, but it's interesting. You, you, you remind me of a question when we were at this activation in Florida, a lot of people had issues with rest uh, and not being able to sleep, but a lot of it was not getting to sleep. It was waking up yes. and not getting back to sleep. So they were like, you know, I'm exhausted at the end of the day, I'm falling asleep, but then go to the bathroom, get a glass of water, and then boom, I can't get back. Can't My thoughts start intruding. And, yeah. you know, what's the hack for that? What do you do? What do you, how do you bring yeah. yourself back to a sleep place? I do have a really quick hack. And I agree with you for most of my clients, it's it's not the falling asleep. Actually, if you fall asleep too fast, it's not a good sign. You wanna take about 10, 15 minutes to fall asleep is about the normal amount of time. So when you wake up in the middle of the night, then the thoughts start racing. So there is um, a game that I teach people, a really quick game, it's called the ABC game. And it could be for young kids, if any of you out there have really young kids, just as simple as A is apple, B is banana, and you go through the whole alphabet. For Adults, that it's really just, um, remember the when your mom maybe told you to count sheep? Remember mm -hmm. that? It's kind of that same idea. It's just a cognitive distraction. So I say, try the ABC game, but theme it. So say like all positive words. A is amazing. B is beautiful. And you go through the alphabet, it makes it a little more difficult. Or do girl names. A is Amanda. B is Barbara. And it's just a good quickie game to use. Go through the whole alphabet. If you get to Z, don't get discouraged. Start again. Probably by the second or third time you're through the alphabet, you'll be back to sleep. Wow. Yeah. I'm getting tired. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, 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 just to switch gears quickly, in terms of nutrition and sleep, mm -hmm. when's the latest you should eat before you go to sleep? Because I always well, have this conversation with people. Yeah. Well, it depends on the person. It depends on what your personal schedule is. But I'm a big believer in trying to eat on the earth, eat your last meal, you know, at least three hours before you go to bed. Because three hours. That when you, for me, I like to eat three hours. But again, well, I you're an expert. Well, when, when you're, you're talking about robots, so right? Meals right. or snacks. So I agree right. with Lara for a meal. Mm. But like again, for the athletes, Renee, like we were talking about, mm -hmm. a lot of them growing, you know, kids, they have late day practices and games. Right. So you don't want to go to sleep hungry, but there's sleep promoting foods versus sleep non promoting foods. So you don't want to grab the chips or a donut or pizza. Right. That tall glass of milk, Lara said, um, hot tea, herbal tea is great. Just make sure there's no caffeine in it. Holy cre uh, cheese and crackers is great. Um, eggs. If you're not allergic to nuts, peanuts. So there's a lot of foods that you can eat in small quantities if you have to eat right before bed. But yeah, well, Lara, I best way to avoid it. Agree with the the tea without you know decaf mm -hmm. um, the tea, and I put our CBD honey stick in the tea. Oh, mm. it literally you have to try the honey sticks because they are so good, and it just a nice hot shower or a warm mm -hmm. bath. And that tea with a CBD honey stick, and you're like really just so relaxed and ready for bed. So I have dinner. I mean, I sound so robotic and I'm not, but I have dinner, <laughs> tea, and I usually have like three cups. Now, for some people, that may end up interrupting their sleep because if they're drinking too much liquid before they go to bed, they may be up all night you mm -hmm. know, peeing. Not mm -hmm. my problem, but um, for some people, maybe. But um, a hot bath, love a bath, even yeah. if it's three minutes. It's just part of my personal evening routine. Other mm -hmm. people, maybe they call a friend. I, I don't know, but everyone, I, I love a bath too. too. I love a bath too. If you go to <laughs> mindsetwellness.com, you can get a CBD bath bomb. It's true. We have bath bombs <laughs> that are also very, the aromatherapy right. from it. Right. It's great. So it's if you're really someone nice. that tends to eat late and you find yourself going back into the kitchen, grazing at night, even after you've had dinner, Think about your routine. Think about even where you are. Think about 
what, you know, what was the last thing you ate? Were you actually sitting down for your meal? Were you plating your meal? Were you mindful during your meal? Because you also have to enjoy your meal. For That's your brain and stomach to like register. Working mindful during your meal. I mindful love that. during your meal. Then you need to remove yourself from the kitchen. What does if that you, mean to people? Explain to people, because I don't think people understand what that means. Are you, were you mindful during your meal? Like, I think that's... Were you, were you actually... Okay, so ways to become mindful, to be present while you're eating. Plate your food. Sit down. Put a napkin on your lap. Cut your food. Put your fork down in between bites. Have some of your water. Talk to... If you're with other people, talk to them. Um, so many people just eat. Like, mm -hmm. and they never put their fork, they never, never put their fork down. So when I'm trying to teach mindfulness to my clients, I tell them next time you're having a meal with someone else or at a table with a group of people, stop what you're doing. I want you to watch everybody else. I want you to watch everybody else's food behaviors because most people don't, most people right. don't realize like what everyone else is doing or what they're doing. Um, are you the first one to be done eating or are you the last? Like start, start to recognize mm -hmm. these behaviors and see where you fall and also learn to be in tune with your hunger so are you ravenous before a meal are you stuffed at the end of a meal or do you fall somewhere in between in the middle which is obviously where i want you to fall but if you you know so many people are not mindful when they're eating and then they overeat they think about like you're so stuffed you have to undo the button on your pants and lay down well what's going to happen a you've overeaten you're going to have trouble with digestion and then I turn to Whitney and it's going to interfere with your sleep. Yep. Right. Yeah, that's me. No, it's like a speed race. I just want to eat it as much as I can. I don't know. It's like some weird instinct that the food's going to disappear. I need to. He does it on autopilot. <laughs> He eats on autopilot. Like he's not, it's, right. it's not a. It's, it's like not, every meal is like a happy hour and you, you just, you got to get to the tray quick before <laughs> they take it back to the kitchen. And I'm just trying to get the food. Yeah. Whatever. I'm going to be more mindful. I've never taken be more Be more mindful. I will be more mindful. So um, guys, thank you so much. First of all, if people want to get in touch with you, please let us know how people get in touch with you. What's the best way to do that? Um, for me, you can um, send me a message at Barbara Reich underscore life organized on Instagram, um, or you can uh, connect me through my website, Barbara Reich life organized. Awesome. Same for me, Lara Mets Nutrition on website or on Instagram, you can message me. And I'm on Instagram at Salve Our Sleep or email is Whitney at Salve Our Sleep .com. Wow. Wow. This was so great. I mean, I love each and every one, like the combo, the Avengers. I love it all. Mm -hmm. I need it all. <laughs> and the combination with Thank all you. of you and us with the CBD. I mean, we're really helping right. people and I love that. It's a winning combination. Yep. Uh, I can't thank it you guys is. enough. You guys are really thank inspirational. Again, thank you. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Guys. Thank for you. On. Everybody Bye, go guys. get your cup of tea. <laughs> I'm going to send you honey sticks. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Take care.